Maldita Castilla, Cursed Castle. I believe this game started off as a mobile game and got ported. Obviously, it's uh, hearkening back to uh, some old arcade isms, as you saw the, the RAM and ROM check there. Uh, once you see the actual the actual screen, you'll know exactly what uh, the developers are paying an homage to. So there are four fighters the king sends out to put an end to the nightmare. They say yes, and they're on their way. Looking very familiar. I can't put my finger on it. Of course I can. This game is a complete homage to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess the names up because I always do. Ghosts and Ghouls? Ghosts and, I always forget if, if the first game is Ghosts and Ghouls or Ghouls and Goblins. I think it's Ghosts and Ghouls. Anyway, um, this game is a complete homage to those games. And that's that's fine with me. I mean, along the way, you'll get things like the double jump boots and you'll unlock uh, secondary items like the Blue Fairy. Uh, things that help extend your time because if you don't fight fast enough, then you die. And there's uh, several weapons, there's uh, the bolas, the sickles, axes, uh, the daggers are my favorite for obvious reasons. Um, the axe I wasn't really a big fan of. Um, you'll spend most of your time using uh, the sword, the default weapon, because you're going to die. Uh, the bolas are pretty good though, but you will probably spend most of your time using that. And every level there's a like a broken up into parts. There's really good mini boss battles, really good final boss battles. Um, and one of the important things, this game does have, as people call it, the you know, the NES difficulty. But the nice thing is there's checkpoints between like each section. And you can continue as many times as you want. So it's like they thought of me. Because I need that. So the difficulty is there, like you, if you can't platform and jump and shoot, you're not going to do well in this game. But there's concessions made for people like me who are just getting older and just aren't quite as, as digitally nimble as they once were. Yes, this particular section with the the blue rings, um, I'm pretty sure I have a couple more gray hairs because of that one, but such is life. So at this point, I mean, like I said, the mechanics, you jump, you don't have a double jump very long because once you die, you lose all those things anyway. But you just continue on and just fight, I guess, very bosses. You fight very many bosses, very final bosses. Uh, the levels themselves are very, the enemy types. I mean, to me, this is all, everything is half full to me. I, I really, I really enjoy my time with this game. I really enjoy the series that it's... Uh, paying a tribute to, so I mean, I just made my appreciation appreciation of it even uh, that much more. I just appreciate the variety of it, and I just really dug kind of everything about it. Even when I was really pissed off and it was like, getting on my nerves, I, I still really enjoyed my time with it. And it's not the longest game. I mean, you can see how many levels there are. You can extrapolate how long how many levels there are. And, they even thought of different video modes for you to use. And there's also uh, speed run features built right in. So, I mean, they kind of thought of everything that you would need. I'm not a speed runner, but, you know, whatever. Uh, there's also the actual sp the music for the game is in here. Uh, there's information about all the enemies you'll fight. And there's even uh, bios on, short bios, on uh, the character you play as well as the other characters who are fighting along with you in the king himself. those pages but the, that's not why you come to this game you come to this game because it gives you that that old school appeal it's done really well the controls are really really well done it just it checks all the boxes and there's bubbles I mean who doesn't like who doesn't like bubbles come on so I had a wonderful time with uh, Maldita Castilla 
Uh, I need to look up other games that these, this developer has, has made um, because I, I'm a fan. Uh, like I said, I know some people will play it and go, oh, this is just like, you know, Capcom's game. It's, you know, it's, it's a ripoff. Well, a ripoff implies, sometimes can imply, uh, I guess, less quality. I, I would say the quality is certainly there. So I had a great time with it. If you like old school platformers, action platformers, that are that can be forgiving. I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to check this game out. Uh, anyway, uh, feel free to like, subscribe. If you click on one of these two videos, one will lead you to a playlist for video reviews. And we'll lead you to a playlist for video EP reviews. Games I haven't quite finished, but wanted to, to, I guess, to have a comment or an opinion about. And check out more stuff at GameWithLoose.com. Podcasts, videos, etc. Leave a comment. That's it.